We are celebrating National Rescue Dog Day. A whole bunch of dogs and cats adopted during COVID-19 this past year, actually. Yeah, but there are still animals looking for their forever family. And joining us from the Champaign County Humane Society, <laughs> Sarah Shepard and Brian Tabbert. Welcome. Hello. Oh, okay, introduce us. Who do we have here? Yes, yeah, so here we have Snickers. Snickers is a one-year-old spayed female a pit bull terrier mix. She was just transferred from our local animal control. Um, so just found running stray, really sweet girl. So we thought we'd bring her over and see if we could find her a home. She's got Aww. her uh, Walmart greeter scarf <laughs> on there. I like it. Her adopt me <laughs> a sweater. She had a little issue with it when we were driving over, but I think she has taken to helping that help her find a home. She seems very so, comfortable yeah. with it now. <laughs> so you yes. haven't had her very long. Nope, uh, she was probably transferred to our facility probably about three weeks ago. And oh. everyone just goes through like a medical and behavioral process before we put them up for adoption. Just want to make sure that she's healthy and happy. <laughs> oh, she loves treats, <laughs> look she at sure her. She sure does. Very what is the, uh, the, every, seems like every shelter or humane study has a different set of rules as to what you need to do to go through to adopt. So for you guys, if someone's like, I would like to take Snickers home. What do they do? Yeah. So, well, do you want to take? I was gonna say, <laughs> right now we are uh, doing appointments only. So call this. Uh, I almost said call the studio. Don't call Channel <laughs> Three. <laughs> That's uh, call the Champaign County Humane Society and um, ask to have. Uh, a meeting with Snickers and our staff will help you arrange that. Well, something else you've arranged, the Met Strut is yes. back. We're so excited. So are we. So last year, because of the pandemic, Mutt Strut was, well, you know, it was kind of a silver lining. We were able, since we weren't able to do the Mutt Strut event in person, we were able to expand the fundraising efforts to involve cats and cat people. So we're still doing yeah. Mutt Strut cat nap, but on June 12th, that we are going to be doing a socially distanced strut in the park at Colbert Park in Savoy. And uh, if you want to go online right now and register your dog to come out and join us, you can certainly do that. There, all, there is also still time for you to join our fundraising efforts. And we've got really cool prizes for the uh, dog and cat that raised the most money for the Humane Society. Aww. They will be featured on their very own label of Triptych what? Beer. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That was yes. Super cool. Snickers looks like uh, that face could be on a beer can. Yeah. Right? Yep. You have fun contests with this Mutt Strut, too, I recall. Well, yeah. And, and because we're doing it socially distanced, we're t kind of turning those contests just into activities that oh. everybody can participate in. Lovely. So I know one of the contests we've done in the past was uh, who could lick peanut butter off a of Frisbee the fastest. Um, <laughs> could you please do this with humans? Do, uh, right? Oh, man. I, I always love the ones like which, which animal looks most like their owner. Oh, yes. like, yeah. Yes. I think those are so fun. Well, we are going to have a pet photo area. Okay. So, and all of the activities will be lined up around the lake. So, and, and I think what's important to note is that the event is going to run from noon until four, rain or shine. And you can drop in any time. So you can drop in right at noon, come take a lap around the lake. Maybe it takes you 30 minutes and you're done. But it's no also problem. a virtual option as well. Absolutely. Kind of doing both. Absolutely. So if you want to take part in the fundraising efforts, you go online to cuhumane.org. <laughs> and you'll find the links that'll take you to our fundraising portal. Um, it's super easy to get started. You can click fundraise and you can set up your own personalized fundraising page and uh, share that with all your friends, yes. and family, and co-workers and get them to donate okay. to your cause. That is a good dog right there. Very good dog. Although, <laughs> like so well-mannered and very well she e easy-tempered. I'm going to take a page out of Brianne's playbook and just carry around a, uh, a fanny little, pack oh, of yeah. treats. <laughs> Not for a dog, just for me. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we will connect you with, with all of these details. I mean, it seems like a great idea to me. See you, know, you, can, TV. you can get all of your crafting supplies, and then you'll have your dog treats yeah. all in the same fanny with pack. With my fanny pack and my crafting supplies, I will be a chick magnet.